Tom Carton, though, though not on the Foreign Relations Committee that will be meeting in about 25 minutes. Your message to those members is what, Senator? Stand strong, reject this thing? What? Neil, my message to all senators and congressmen is that this deal with Iran is very dangerous. It's dangerous to the United States, to our allies like Israel, and to the world. Also, we don't yet have all the details of the agreement. We now know that there are two secret side deals between Iran and the IAEA, the United Nations nuclear watchdog, and these are not mere procedural or administrative details. They go to the heart of their disagreement with Iran, their past weaponization work, even access to the military base where they're believed to have te tested detonator devices for nuclear weapons. Do you know without, when these side deals details. were added? Because uh, Secretary Kerry didn't really answer for them. I thought either he was feigning ignorance or he really was ignorant. Uh, neither is an attractive option here. But but your, many have argued in your party and elsewhere saying, well, then the clock should start at 60 days all over again when you get the details of those side deals, right? Neil, it would appear that the side deals between the IAEA and Iran were negotiated in the final days before the overall deal was announced because the Director General, uh, Mr. Romano of the IAEA, traveled to Tehran. Uh, but under U.S. law, that clock should not start ticking until the Congress has all agreements, to include agreements without involving the United States. Regardless, though, when the clock starts ticking, it's just hard for me to imagine any senator or any congressman, whatever their views of the overall deal, would be willing to cast a vote to support this deal without knowing the actual details of it. One of the things they have argued in defense of doing just that, Senator, is that the alternative is war. Senator Kerry says the alternative that any of you guys come up with is like a unicorn type deal. You, you, you've heard these arguments. What do you say to them? Well, that's a pretty weak, weak argument for this agreement. And in fact, it's now been uh, disproven by many other officials. Martin Dempsey, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the principal military advisor to the president, has said that's not the case. There are a whole range of options. Senior French diplomats who were involved in these negotiations have told congressmen that, in fact, if the Congress were to kill the deal, as we should, there'd be other alternatives. Like, for instance, simply not giving Iran tens of billions of dollars in immediate sanctions relief that they can use to commit more acts of terror through not the Middle East. So there are plenty of alternatives to an outright war against Iran. All right, Senator Cunt, always good seeing you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, Neil. Meanwhile, the man I always